These are so neat. here on the Avalon Panorama. There's some closets. Desk and table chairs. Two beds for me and my friend. Very nice. So I opened up the blinds and there's our deck. So it opens up seven feet, but it's wall to wall, ceiling to floor. And here's our view of Budapest right now from our cabin beautiful traditional architecture. This is the bathroom. There's the L'Occitane. Just like on every ship. And shower. And incense. Mm. This is happy hour! So drinks are on half price for one hour every day. Yeah. It's a lovely lounge. And then over here is where they have light breakfast, like lunch, light suppers for people who don't want to go downstairs in the restaurant and eat more. It's pretty cool. And you can sit out on the balcony too if you want. Okay. This is the dining room slash restaurant where we eat all of our meals, um, the regular meals, and all of the buffets and the breakfast for lunch are here. And then we have our supper a la carte, which is what we're having right now. It's very nicely set up. Excellent service too. Hi guys! <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah, we love yeah, you lot. It's an amazing coffee machine. Yes, and the juices. Do you enjoy the juices? Yes, they're very good. Ice machine. Wave hello to our Toronto friends. Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is the sky. This is the lounge at the back of the ship, where you can come to lounge, or you can, <laughs> or you can grab some books. Or you can play some games, sort of games here for your entertainment. So all the life jackets are down on the right underneath these white tops. And then this is a nice sitting lounge at the front of the ship. It's beautiful for when we're departing the cities. And we just sit up here and watch the cities go by. And then at night it's really pretty because we see all the lights of the cities. Too. Just pulled out of the dock in Budapest and on our way to Bratislava. Woohoo! Here we go! <laughs> okay, so we got moved over to the expression ship. Looks pretty much like our other one, but just a newer ship. With the same layout and everything as our other one. Here on the Avalon Expression and on the Panorama, they have a hairdresser on board if you want to get your hair done. And this is the club lounge on the Expression. It's at the back of the ship. And I hear that there's better selections on the machine than what we had on the panorama before. There's decaf cappuccinos and things like that now. And I like that you can sit at the back of the ship, beside this lounge, whereas the panorama didn't have 
<laughs> and then again, we have the TV and the games back here too. Stop did for Canada Day for us. There's, I think, 28 Canadians on this ship. So look at what they did. Decked it out for Canada Day. They're the best. Look, they even have more flags over here. Aww. They just love us. <laughs> so cool. So we just went under a low bridge and they brought down the captain's control booth and now they're just raising it because now we've gone underneath. It's on hydraulics, it's really neat. They do that so they can go under the low bridges. We're just pulling into the lock right now. Our first lock is the biggest one, it fits four ships. It's really long. are just shedding so that we're almost ready to start blowing up. Almost done. It's taking about 20 minutes. Just have that little bit left. Before I was showing you how we went up a lot and now this is how we are going down a lot. Slowly, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to go down. Or go up, depending on which direction it is. Okay, so they just opened up the gate so that we can come out of it now. It's the big gate that they use. Lots of water. Yep. And here we go. On the way to Bamberg, Germany. Here we are, we're just pulling into Bratislava. Just getting ready to dock. Look at how beautiful it is. Looks much more contemporary and modern, at least where we're docked, than it did when we were in Budapest. Beautiful view. Golden chime.
We are at a lovely small town in Germany called Miltenburg. There's 9,600 people that live here. And this right here, that beautiful building, is the oldest hotel in Germany. It's Hotel Reisen, I think. It's a very cute, quaint little town. Only about 10 minutes to walk end to end, but very cute down here. Going into the wooden shoe workshop now. Those are huge!